change the world. I'm Leo. Hello, wonderful people, and welcome back to Coffee Over Apples. So today I am bringing you my 2020 bookshelf tour, and I have a couple things I want to say before we get started. So. I have two large bookshelves in my house. I have this one behind me, which you guys already know about, and then I have another one upstairs. But the reason I never show it is because it's in a really awkward space. It's like built into the wall and it's up a staircase. Um, so I'm gonna bring you there. So we're gonna start with this one first and then we're gonna go to that one. But full disclosure, <sighs> my shelves, are complete chaos. There is no rhyme or reason to the way that they are, the way that they are. Um, I thought I was gonna be a legit booktuber when I first started this channel earlier in the year and I actually do like some rainbow shelf thing, but I'm thinking about doing a complete reorganization because in January, on January 9th, it is my birthday! Woo, woo, woo. I'm gonna be turning 29 and I plan on getting a book haul for myself. So um, the only books I've purchased recently are books for my book clubs um, because I need to analyze them and it's just, it's easier for me to analyze books when I can annotate. Annotate helps me like put my thoughts together, um, leave stickies, you know, write my notes. Uh, I'm a visual learner. So that being said, um, I haven't done a book haul, like a legit book haul since June. Uh, so I plan on treating myself for my birthday. And uh, yeah, you guys are gonna get to see that. So I'm gonna do this bookshelf tour and I'm not gonna change anything around. I'm not gonna pretend that I am or it is something that it is not because I wanna do a bookshelf tour every year and then kind of see the glow up you know, assuming I'm gonna be doing booktube for a long time, I hope, because I love it here. I love all the friends I've made and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So, um, the dust is there. I will be calling myself out in every aspect of this video. Things will be dusty, things will be damaged. I don't know what's where sometimes. Um, I don't really have a TBR shelf. Nothing is in categories. Everything just is where it is. So, you may come for me. Let's get started. Okay, so where should I begin? Should I start at the top? Should I start at the bottom? I feel like you guys always see the top shelf. So I think I'm gonna start from the bottom up. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I've got some sections down here. I usually sit on the floor on this little pillow. Um, this stuff right here is all like notebooks and college books so i'm not really going to talk about anything that's on this shelf like it's literally just notebooks um this shelf over here i've got some tbr stuff um these are school year books teacher guide books um art books so color theory color theory is like one of my favorite things but i want to talk to you about the book books here we go with the good stuff Batman, A Death in the Family, given to me by one of my best friends for a reading challenge that I need to do in 2021. This Means This, This Means That, A User's Guide to Semiotics. I teach semiotics um, as part of one of my foundation's courses for art. Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. You guys know about this, I did an entire vlog on my channel. A Serial Killer Coloring Book, Adult Coloring Pages Filled with Drawings of Serial Killers. I am kind of obsessed with true crime. Not really obsessed. Um, I just find it super interesting. Yeah, so these are all adult coloring pages. The Killer Clown, The Shoe Fetish Slayer, Robert Hansen, Dark Matter and the Dinosaurs. I got this for $3 in the clearance section at Barnes & Nobles. Still haven't read it. Phoenix Extravagant, which was the uh, November pick for our sci-fi book club the link in discord will be in the video description below moving on to the next little section that i have here see how unorganized i am there's a manga right here which i just finished reading neon genesis evangelion omnibus volume 5 it has the last two volumes i just read this gave it five stars 
absolutely amazing. Stiff by Mary Roach. Little fun tidbits and facts about corpses. Black House by Stephen King and Peter Straub. Haven't read it. The Space Between Worlds by Micaiah Johnson, the October book club pick for the Sci-Fi Interstellar Book Club. Five Ages of the Universe. Haven't read it. Deep Time, the journey of a single subatomic particle from the moment of creation and the death of the universe and beyond. I haven't read it. Stephen King's The Institute. Have I read it? Nope. Fabric of the Cosmos. Relationship workbooks. No more fighting. Workbooks for couples. Nobody's perfect. Even if you barely fight, anything is helpful. The cutest little graphic novel you will ever find. This is called Jonesy, Nine Lives on the Nostromo. This is about a little cat who survives on the ship from Alien. So if you remember from the Alien movies, there was a cat. Well, this is about that cat. It is so freaking cute. Dune by Frank Herbert. The period repair manual, which I did a full review for on my channel. Over half the world's population has periods. Let's understand them better, please. Next in this little section right here, we have The Shack, The Wind Through the Keyhole by Stephen King, the eighth book in the Dark Tower series, The Call of Cthulhu and Other Weird Stories by H.P. Lovecraft, Hearts in Atlantis by Stephen King, Slam by Walter Dean Myers. This is actually a signed copy. The first book in a Song of Ice and Fire series, Game of Thrones. The fourth book in a Song of Ice and Fire series, A Feast for Crows. Bad Astronomy, Misconceptions and Misuses Revealed from Astrology to the Moon Landing Hoax. No shade if you believe in astrology. I personally like being a Capricorn. The Teacher Wars, A History of America's Most Embattled Profession. The 14th Dalai Lama, A Manga Biography. I want more of these. This was really fun to read. Why? Explaining the Holocaust. The Fireman by Joe Hill. I hate this book. Tokyo Ghoul, Volume 1 because I was too lazy to bring it upstairs to my manga shelf. Colorless Suzuru Tazaki and his years of pilgrimage. <laughs> Moving up to the next shelf, we have The Epic of Gilgamesh. One day we'll all be dead and none of this will matter. Frida, a biography of Frida Kahlo. The second omnibus for Neon Genesis Evangelion. This contains volumes 4, 5, and 6 of the manga series. Also should be on my manga shelf upstairs. Tell Me Something Good. Different interviews from various artists by the Brooklyn Rail. The Wastelands, the third book in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Still one of my all-time favorites. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. The Outsider by Stephen King. This book has its problems, but I gotta give it props. Of his more recent work, it's one of the scariest. The Bizarre Bad Dreams by Stephen King, a collection of short stories. This one was pretty decent. Obsidio, the third book in the Illuminae Files. The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. Going to the next compartment right here. As you can see, there's more manga that shouldn't be here. Starting with Lolita by Vladimir Nobokov. The first omnibus for Neon Genesis Evangelion, volumes 1, 2, and 3. World Without End by Ken Follett. This is the second book to the Pillars of the Earth duology. The Drawing of the Three, the third book. No, second book, yes. Second book in the Dark Tower series. The Troop by Nick Cutter, the book that didn't let me sleep for a week. The Deep, also by Nick Cutter, which will haunt me for the rest of my life. The Girl Who Played With Fire, the second book in the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. I read all three of the first books by Stieg Larsson before he passed away, and I refuse to read the other following three by the new author because I just don't want it to go downhill. I want to keep my happy memories from all those years ago. Just After Sunset, a collection of short stories by Stephen King. As you can see, my dog attacked this. The Alchemist, we don't need to talk about this. Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. The Dark Tower, the seventh book in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. Artwork, a fantastic resource for artist professionalism. I'm thinking about making this a textbook for my school. Men Without Women, short stories by Haruki Murakami. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the first book in the series. Wizard and Glass, the fifth book? No, fourth book, maybe, fourth book. Yes, it says it right there in the Dark Tower series. Hard Boiled Wonderland and the End of the World by Haruki Murakami, one of my personal favorites from Murakami. You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. Why, yes I am. The Bridge to Terabithia, basically my entire childhood. Wolves of the Kala, the fifth book in the Dark Tower series. Not talking about that. Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. A Clash of Kings, the second Game of Thrones book. The Giver by Lois Lowry. 
Show Your Work, a workbook for artists. Moving over again. The Monk by Matthew Gregory Lewis, a new all-time favorite. Nights in Rodinth by Nicholas Sparks from back in the day when I read romance. We don't talk about those days anymore. The Running Man by Stephen King. It by Stephen King. Secret Lives of Artists, hilarious facts about artists from history. The Odyssey by Homer. Big Magic, How to Live Creatively, Do It Before Someone Else Does, Gemina, the second book in the Illuminae Files, 1984, The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks, An American Marriage by Tiari Jones, we're not talking about this, Pricing and Ethical Guidelines for Artists and Graphic Designers, Volume 13, The Road by Cormac McCarthy, his better work in my opinion. Moving up to the top of the shelf, holy cannoli, my back hurts. All right, let's talk about the trinkets. I guess we'll go from left to right. So here I have a little um, easel painting from Honduras. I have my little Bob Ross like painting calendar thing. It has all these different little pictures from Bob Ross in it. I have my Sailor Saturn, whose head always falls off. Um, because this is the reason why I don't keep things on my desk at work anymore. One of my kids thought it would be fun to twist all my Funko's heads until they popped off. And this is why I don't have nice things. This is my dragon egg that I made at a uh, teacher's convention last year when I did a glass blowing shop. A piggy bank. My black pink official light stick. Yes, I am a blink. Morticia and Bob. Two more bobs, one of them is broken. A Zamasu and a Goku. Llamas. A little painting I made, a cow because cows are my favorite animal. My cards for my TBR game. A decorated spray can. For the books we have To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. Merrick by Anne Rice. The Bone Man's Daughters by Ted Decker. Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking by Susan Cain. Seven Days in the Art World by Sarah Thornton. The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. Red Dragon, part of the Hannibal Lecter series. The Secret Garden. Fight Club. The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay. Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer. The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. In the next pile, we have Illumine, the first in the Illumine series. Volume 3 of the Neon Genesis Evangelion Omnibus, volumes 7, 8, 9. The Divine Comedy by Dante, otherwise known as Dante's Inferno. The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, otherwise known as the book I stole a bike for. Okay, so we are at the second bookshelf, and warning you guys, it's in my attic. The lighting in here sucks terribly. <laughs> it's a cat. So I have like two other lights going on right now and it's still kind of dark. So apologies ahead of time. But this is the second bookshelf. So we are halfway there. The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami. If Then by Kate Hope Day. Golden State by Ben H. Winters. Jurassic Park, the uh, bound edition for Barnes and Nobles. It's also got the Lost World in it. Ace Your Teacher Interview. Next, I've got some art history books. So I've got, well, history and art history. So I've got uh, the history of Michelangelo, Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, um, The Six Wives of Henry VIII, Hitler's Art Thief, the history of the art dealer who stole art for Hitler. And then it was found like 60 or 70 years later at a value of $1.3 billion. Amazing stuff. Fall of Giants by Ken Follett. You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay, a self-help book that I need to hurry up and read so I can give it back to the wonderful person who lent it to me. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Paradise Lost by John Milton. The Last Days of Socrates. Then over here, I've got a whole bunch of romance. Um, these are back in the day when all I read was romance, and I believe that was from the age of 16 to maybe 19. Um, these are really personal to me, so even though I don't really read romance anymore, I plan on keeping them just because it's very sentimental. Like, it was a whole thing where my husband, back when he was courting me, would always bring me the newest Nicholas Sparks book. It was really sweet. So I've got, at first sight, I've got the notebook. 
I've got The Choice. I've got The Road, or Bend in the Road, actually. I've got The Last Song. I've got The Wedding. And The Rescue. On to the next shelf. I have Spin, which I want to get to in the very near future. Look at how holographic this is. It's so cool. Blaze Wrath Games, which was sent to me by the Hear Our Voices book tour. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I loved it. Monster, which was sent to me by the author for review, and I also loved it. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adiemi. A notebook. I was looking for this. The Brief and Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde. La Tregua, which equals the truce in English by Eduardo Nogareda. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. The last book so far published um, in the Song of Ice and Fire series, this is A Dance with Dragons, and the dust jacket did not come with it, which it was supposed to, and it has a boot print. I'm still mad about that. The Sword and the Chrysanthemums. Don't even remember what this is about. More scary stories to tell in the dark. This is the second part to that. The War on Art, the very first book review I did on Booktube. The first copy of A Storm of Swords. The second copy of A Storm of Swords. The third copy of A Storm of Swords. Why do I have three? Because uh, I want it to be cheap. So I got this one on sale. And it didn't match the cover that I wanted. So then I found this one online and it said it looked like this, but it didn't. So, between these two, I paid the price of the one that I could have just gotten the one I wanted in the first place. So now I have three. Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller. End of Watch by Stephen King, copy one. End of Watch by Stephen King, copy two. Because a couple years ago, I went to go see Stephen King give a lecture on his writing with my brother, and so we both got free copies at the lecture, and uh, now I have two because my brother didn't want his, so I took it. Carrie by Stephen King, a classic. The Song of Susanna, the sixth book in the Dark Tower series. Yeah, so most of the shelf is Stephen King. The only reason it's broken up is because I have some of the other ones downstairs. A Bag of Bones by Stephen King. This one was pretty decently scary. Cell by Stephen King. This one is really good. Under the Dome by Stephen King. Uh, I never watched the TV show, but I really like this book. Of course, it's also a hit or miss with a lot of other people. Duma Key by Stephen King. The Life of Pi. And then here I have some religious texts from when I studied in school and college. So I have a copy of the Quran. Um, I have the Bhagavad Gita. And I had a copy of the Bible. I don't know where it went. Down to the last shelf. Yeah. We have a cat. Cat. Hi. A very messed up copy of the Vampire Chronicles because my dog tried to eat this a really long time ago. So what I did was I kind of like put construction paper on the outside and painted over it so it could stick together. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Elevation by Stephen King. What the hell was this? Salem's Lot by Stephen King. The Walking Dead Rise of the Governor, one of the very first uh, novels from the creators of The Walking Dead. These two are textbooks from, these three actually are textbooks from school, so I'm not going to really talk about that. And this one as well, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Undeniable Evolution and the Science of Creation by Bill Nye. Becoming by Michelle Obama. My Car Manual, Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut. Animal Farm by George Orwell. Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. The Last Policeman by Ben Winters. Eat, Drink, and Be Vegan, a cookbook. One Second After by William R. Rochester. Rochin? Rochin. The Crucible by Arthur Miller. The Very Hungry Zombie, an adult version of the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Hello, zombie. He eats all the heads. Look at all the hair he eats. He eats all the heads. An old copy of a Death Note book. This is not a comic book. This is actually a novel. Cat in the Hat, because why not? Lord of the Flies. Then I have the second, third, and fourth books of the Maze Runner trilogy. Um, the first one, someone borrowed. And these are actually not even mine. These are my husband's. The Chosen by Chaim Potok. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but it's a good book. 
What If by Randall Monroe. This book is hilarious. If you love sci-fi, you need to read this because it's freaking funny. It's a rocket scientist who answers scientific questions with stick figures. It's perfect. Can you focus? Can you focus? Can you focus? Please. Good sir. Thank you for focusing. We're not talking about those last three. And these are just notebooks. So we're done. All right, you guys, that is it for this year's bookshelf tour. I will be doing a purge in the very near future, trying to clear out space for my birthday on January 9th. I am so excited. I love my birthday. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful end to your reading in 2020. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What's the making, Mr. Wonka? Mr. Wonka, work the factory. In your wildest, wildest dreams, you could not deny.